Hi guys, I'm just doing a quick video on the pull up and what we're looking for and how to progress it essentially. Okay, so with the low bar pull ups, okay, the advantage of these is you can use your legs to assist you. Okay, so the taller you are, the, the, the more or the less room you might feel you've got to, to, in, in terms of where to put your legs. Um, but so if you're out here, this might feel like more comfortable. Um, but the, the risk is that when you're doing that, you might end up going into this sort of position which is more like an inverted row, okay, um, because you're, you're, as opposed to a pull up when your, your body position is, is more vertical. So what I wanted to try and do is bear that in mind when you're doing pull ups. The next thing, so in other words, you want to sort of start roughly here, okay, so I uh, show your spine more upright to begin with. Obviously, the taller you are, this is harder to do because you're going to have to lean back more to make room for your body before your backside touches the floor. But initially at least everyone can sort of aim at the start of the top of the rep here to get the chest out and shoulders back which comes on to the next thing i want to try and mention is try and remember the goal is to pull your sort of sternum area or top chest up towards the bar not necessarily to pull your chin over the bar um, in fact i would try and encourage you to not try and pull your chin over the bar because what that will do is you'll almost definitely end up rounding through the shoulders here like this you'll be creating a compensation pattern to, to get to the top of the movement as, as opposed to just performing the movement with a correct, full correct range of movement. So you want to try and manage to maintain this chest out, shoulder back position throughout the movement, okay? And in order to do that, you probably wouldn't be able to go up as high, but that's okay. In fact, it's better in a way. So that's your position there. So if I'm wanting to try and get my chin over that bar, I end up doing this, see that? And the shoulders, the shoulders round forward which is not really the position we want to be in. You want the shoulders to be back and down, scapula nice and set. Don't get me wrong, at the top of the position, it's very difficult, especially in the low bar actually, to hold that perfectly. There will be a wee bit of movement to the shoulder maybe, but your goal is to try and keep it as in place as you can, using all the big muscles around here, the mid back and upper back, which is why the pull up is such a great exercise. So don't come up, in short, don't come up as high as you might think you have to only come up as high as you can that allows you to maintain this sort of shoulders back and down position so you'll notice right when i come up higher there look see that see the movement is starting to come forward so i don't want to go any higher than that here i want to just stay there squeeze slowly lower down when i come up there it goes again see that starting to round forward so at the start of each rep i want you to sort of set yourself there hold that tension and then slowly lower yourself down, okay? You pull yourself back up, but use your legs to assist you as much as you have to. So we don't want it to become like a squat up, right? But the beauty of this version is you can use your legs. Because obviously the pull-ups is a body weight exercise. So it makes it hard because you're pulling your own body weight. So the beauty of it on the ground is you can use your legs to assist you, okay? Your goal is to get better at the top position. Be very aware of this. Not, we don't want this. This position here, try and be quite upright at the start and then lower yourself down, okay? This will be particularly something to be aware of if you're taller because you'll naturally lean back more to make room for your torso or your legs. Um, the next progression, if you can get three or four second eccentric sensation controlled in this, the next, or for five or six reps, the next progression would, would be to try and uh, perform uh, with your feet off the ground, okay? so. This would be the next stage, chest down, shoulders back, feet off, hold, slowly lower yourself down, then you'll just stand back up almost, set yourself, really squeeze in, hold, slowly back down. Okay, so very tough options, this is a really difficult exercise to pull up if it's done properly, it's so beneficial though. Okay, so that's some, just a couple of things I wanted to consider when you're doing the pull-ups. Okay, you don't need loads of reps. Five or six reps is probably enough if you're getting that slow, controlled movement and you're not you're not going into that round position. Because believe it or not, that is like almost giving your body a chance to rest. It makes it easier because you're, you're, these muscles get kind of get switched off a little bit. Okay, so there you go. It's a, just a few things to ponder on pull-ups.